Day three, cycling to Switzerland. We are feeling well good. Today is gonna to be a very, very big day on the bike because we've got 2,000 meters of elevation to do in 140K and it's looking like headwind most of the way. Extremely hot, although we have some cloud cover this morning. Our eventual destination is Switzerland in like five rides time. Ben is a bit up against it because he didn't get to bed until 3 a.m. I suffer from insomnia. And I just laid there until half past three this morning, listening to you. What noise was I making? Really nice sleeping noise, what I wanted. <laughs> On the road again we're progressively waking up earlier and earlier as we get more and more worn down by the sun bit of a slower start this morning because ben needed to get sorted after not enough sleep and today we're riding from belgium are we going into france i think we're, we're going about to... 10k okay we're going into france and then leaving again it's a nice oh, smooth tycho lane to start things off <laughs> we're really enjoying this bit of the morning because there's a little bit of oh. hazy cloud cover the name of the game today is going to be stay hydrated if we have to stop five times to keep getting water, that's what we're going to do. Because you have to remember on a trip like this, you're eating and drinking for tomorrow. There's no point in digging deep, getting back half an hour early, 20 minutes early, and then suffering for it the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that. So a couple of electrolyte tabs, big bottles of water, drinking every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, even when it's not as hot. It's only 25 degrees now. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, nice. Ben has said a grand total of one word this whole ride. He's riding his bike backwards though, so he must be in an all right mood. 20k in. Now we're on a lovely bike path. Bonjour. Bonjour. I found a present for Chris. What have you found? Well, it's free as well. It's more than the robot. No. Chris! Yeah. I found you something good. Your present for the trip. What model is it? It's like a Viera, one of those. Oh, is, is it, it Sony? Panasonic. Bro, if we just put it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not very aero that way, mate. What if we do it? We put it that way. It's actually probably faster than not having it at all. And if I hold it on my butt cheeks, it'll be pretty yeah. steady, wouldn't it? It's like a like aerofoil. You know when it, like aero helmets are long and like uh, tailed yeah, yeah. at the back. How many HDMI points has it got in it? Two. We can watch our favourite YouTubers, GCA. <laughs> We're in a shithole. How are you feeling, Ben? Five miles time, we're halfway, so I think I might make it. Good made it a bit more interesting having a few hills yeah i honestly think hills are better than completely flat i just get uncomfortable riding on flat too long unfortunately uh chris hasn't got his present with him so yeah uh, we couldn't figure out we couldn't figure out how to strap it onto the back of his bike so we've left it where it was and we'll get him to ride back later we can get you one of those um you know those trailer things you put children in Oh yeah. And pull them along. Uh, probably for sale in Verbia. You put Ben in it. You can ride back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up TV and ride back again. It's a new tail fin edition, isn't it? We've got into eating lunch at 11 a.m. Which I don't really have a problem with. Quick stop at Lidl. Starting to heat up now. I'm sure as soon as we start riding after this stop, it's gonna feel absolutely horrendous out there. On the plus side, we've got through what was basically a very horrible town. The ride went from beautiful farmland to industrial just cars and infrastructure nightmare a few bad overtakes and we've had it so nice stop hopefully when we start riding again everyone goes and has lunch uh, and we're gonna get some food in now salty things some kind of mystery dip and a shot of curcumin mm, so good on a very positive note we are nearly at 60 miles and it's only 11 a.m onto a winner fake ham Can you edit a sound? A big bang in that, please. Oh, how are you, right? You didn't have salt in. 
Salty boy, Francis Cade. You see how much salt is on your shoulders? Yeah. That was quite hard, that last bit. We're feeling a little bit cooked, but legs are okay. We think we've got 40k to go. Hopefully a bit less. Last 10k doesn't count. I had a few comments asking to give you the information about where we're stopping and where we're going. But in order to do that, I'd have to know where we're stopping and where we're going. So that's why it hasn't been that in the video so far. I'll just follow the Garmin route that Chris has planned. Do you know where we're going and stuff? I feel like once the route is planned, and you put it on the head unit, and then it's removed from brain. Oh! Bless you. The camera's getting Where's heavier. It? Should we leave the hottest place on earth? It is so hot, isn't it? I was just finding this. Ice lolly. It's 41 degrees. <laughs> I wanna be skinny, take a little boy, I wanna feel it already. Knocking on my door, how many's too many? Now I'm falling through the floor. Ben! Yeah! That red strip to cycle, eh, mate? See? It's not safe! That's alright. No one gets you here. This is the hottest I've been since Kelso. It's still only a five on the Kelsometer though. I'd suck milk from that right now. Would you? I'm that thirsty. <laughs> Haven't checked in to this video in a while. It's been very hot. That's all I have to say. Oh, actually no. I love cycling. We have stopped at a wedding because there was one of the caterers standing outside smiling at us. Ah, oh, she's brought us water. She's actually brought us water. Oh. We, we obviously look like a mess. I've never been that far seat in my entire life, and I'm not even joking. That's not me being dramatic. <laughs> Wanna hug? Francis. Yeah. Every meter up is a meter up, mate. Oh, you can't argue with that. I thought, uh, 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 Disney, uh, seven o'clock in the evening? Or is it, uh, seven thirty. I don't know if it's enough. Got to the hotel. Chris checked us in. There was good news and bad news. The good news was that we could bring the bikes into the room, which was up three flights of stairs. And then we realized there was a lift after that. Bad news is that we're in the middle of nowhere and this hotel has a restaurant, which is shut. So we had to get the man who speaks French to help us because we don't speak very much French. Definitely not enough to order a pizza, to order a pizza. You recovered from the ride yet, Ben? Getting there. Are you, you're still in kit. I've been here for an hour and a half. Time in the chamois. The saying is, time in the chamois, it's time on the bike. As a serious note, as I said earlier, if I wasn't on a really long bike ride, half this pizza would have just been put on the side and I would have grazed on it, but the rest of the pizza is actually for tomorrow. So now I'm just eating to provide me with more energy tomorrow. I've stopped enjoying it. So Francis had eight slices, 2,400 calories, and now he's on the bed. He doesn't feel very well. <laughs> it was the cycling that's made me not feel well, not the pizza. Cycling's bad for you. 